Welcome back to Gilmore Racing. I'm Matt from KCK Lubricants and we're back in the workshop again today for something a little bit different. The car behind me, massive accident at a recent race meeting and I thought I would show you what happens to one of these cars when it comes off the track at 200 kilometres an hour. The car is owned by Chris Purvis, a really dear friend of mine and a really good KCK customer. And it was very unfortunate to see this thing go off the track. It's, it's an immaculately prepared car. Miguel M07, Mercedes engine, really fast car, really nice bit of gear. But the incident, well, we need to find out what happened and we need to assess the damage so we can get this thing back into one piece and back on the racetrack. Chris was having a really good run at Queensland Raceway. He was, he was out in front by quite a bit and pulling away. Um, and four or five laps into the race, he's run straight off the end of the main straight into the tyre barrier at probably close to 200 kilometres an hour. So as we can see the, the damage on the car, well the obvious thing is the front wing's missing. There's also quite a lot of damage to the nose box, which is a crash structure itself. It normally has a, like a, a shield over it. You can see it's busted the carbon fiber open. You can see the honeycomb inside it. And what you can also see is underneath the car, it's ripped the mounting points off for the front wing. Now, it is a crash structure. It is what it's supposed to do. It's, it's on there to absorb the energy and a big impact into something solid like it had on the weekend with Chris in it. The other damage we can see, there's a front winglet here missing. As it's gone into the tyres, it's kind of gone between the tyres and the tyres have come back and probably knocked that off. The white on the front crash box is also from the, from the white paint on the tyres. The top suspension arms are bent, uh, both sides, once again, as it's gone in, it's, it's um, hit the tyre wall, and the tyre walls have pushed them back. Now that's a design feature of these cars. The suspension arms are very light in material and will bend. Now this is, so if, in this instance, if it had gone into the tyres and these suspension arms didn't bend, it would have just ripped the mounting out of the carbon tub. Now that would be a major repair. Whereas at least at the track, that's a, a five minute fix. You've got the wheel back on and you can go for the next race meeting. If it was to damage the carbon, that's a major repair. Also, if these uh, cars were to clip wheels instead of the cars flipping over, it should just take that wheel off and very minimal damage, realistically, compared to a rollover. What we can see and what we did see from pit wall was a puff of smoke. Now this was from a locked tyre, so um, independent um, braking system, front and rear master cylinder, so we know that by this flat spot on the front tyre, he's at least had front brakes at some stage. So we can assume, and from what Chris told us, he had no brakes, so we can assume that there's a, an issue with the braking on the rear of the car. Now as the car came into the pits, one of the crew very uh, observantly noticed a puddle of brake fluid under this um, rear wheel. If we walk around here to the rear of the car so I can show you where the brake lines run. So that's the brake line in there. It goes in through that, through that cover and through the relief in the um, rear brake backing plate there. So you can see it's quite a neat fit. But if we look on the other side, that brake line has come out of that relief. It, it's wedged in hard between the rim and that brake backing plate. So it's, it's done its four or five laps and eventually worn through. Chris has jumped on the brakes at the end of the straight. It's ruptured that brake line and he's had no brakes whatsoever. Very little braking on the front and the pedal's gone straight to the floor. Because these cars are traveling so quickly and braking, so late, there's very little time to take any evasive action and at that particular corner there's no runoff, there's, there's nowhere to go. And we can see in the footage, Chris has tried to get hold of the brakes and then he swerved to wash off some speed and then basically braced for impact. But the reason the car has made it all the way to the fence is as the car's left the track, the front wing's got ripped off. Now whether it got ripped off 
by the edge of the track or there was a ledge there or whatever, but as the car has run over the wing, it's become airborne. So instead of driving into the gravel trap and slowing down and having very little damage, it's jumped three quarters of the gravel trap, bounced once and then hit the wall. So a huge impact and obviously more damage than, than anyone would have liked. But we, we get asked a lot, especially by prospective drivers, how safe are these cars? And we're talking about a, a 200 km an hour impact straight into the wall. And the only real injury that Chris had, he had a, a minor concussion from the G-forces, was damage to his elbow. Now how he got this, as he's gone in, he's held on the steering wheel. The impact was so great, as the seat belts have stretched, he's gone in, his arms have bent, and his elbows come in contact with a carbon fibre tub. As much as I cringe every time I think about it, that's a really good outcome. Had this have been a different car or a sedan, we would be having a very different conversation indeed. For him to be able to walk away from such a massive impact with a minor injury, well that really is testament as to how strong and how safe these Formula 3 cars are and how well thought out the design features are to keep the driver safe. We can fix the car, but the driver's safety is paramount. And luckily Chris is okay, Chris is, is on his way down here now. We're gonna get the car apart, we're gonna see what we need to do to get him back on track. So stand by for future videos. But thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Send your love to Chris. See you next time at Gilmore Racing.